Hi, my name's Nick, Portfolio Manager for Clover, and today we're going to be installing some Eves ventilation products. So Eves ventilation products are an important part of the roof, but they're often overlooked as they're out of sight, being covered in by the tiles or the slates that sit above them. It's important that the correct amount of ventilation is provided, as without it, the roof space or the loft area can be particularly prone to condensation. There is a British standard, BS5250, which covers condensation risk and the management of moisture, which lays down guidance that when followed, will create a healthy, well-ventilated roof space. This is the 10 mm overface event, and the purpose of this is to allow airflow from outside to in. This metre long strip will provide the equivalent of a 10 mm gap along the length of the eaves, which is the required amount of ventilation for a typical cold roof situation. The built in guides can be used to position the fascia vent in the correct position and is nailed with 50 mm corrosion resistant nails through the preformed nail holes directly into the top of the fascia board. Next, we install the rollout rafter tray. The purpose of this is to create and maintain a path for airflow to make sure the ventilation we have created by the use of the fascia vent can find its way through to the area of the roof it is intended. It's important the product is not pulled taut and that the castellated profile remains, as this is what creates the pathway for air movement. The product comes in 6 metre rolls to suit a typical eaves length. It also comes in 5 different heights, from 300mm up to 1 metre. It's important that the tray finishes above the finished height of any loft insulation. The tray can be nailed or stapled into the rafters. The underlay support tray is the next item to install. This performs two functions. Firstly, to provide support to the roofing membrane or underlay, which is the product that will sit directly on top of the tray. The second function is performed by the bottom lip, which is designed to carry any water that does get on top of the membrane safely into the guttering. It's good practice to overlap underlay support trays by 150mm along the length of the roof, nailing through both where they join. Finally, we have the eaves comb. The purpose of the eaves comb is to prevent the entry of birds and larger insects into the batten cavity. It's only required with deeper profile tiles where a sizeable gap would be created. You would never need to fit the eaves comb with a flat tile or a slate, for example. The eaves comb is fixed by nailing through the preformed nail holes at the base of the product and into the fascia board. The membrane should then finish level with the top of the fascia board where it can be covered by the slate or the tile. The membrane should not be permanently exposed or draped into the gutter. The roof can then be completed in the usual manner. Clover has a number of additional products in our range to cover all of your eaves ventilation needs, such as rafter trays, loft vent trays, circular soffit vents, vented eaves protectors and more. So be sure to see the full range online or speak to your local roofing or builders merchant. Remember to always seek professional guidance when installing Clover products. And if you should need additional support or advice, Clover has a technical team dedicated to supporting our installers. You can find all that information and more at clover.co.uk.